starting a couple minutes early. Not as early as I wanted to, but I'll be damned if I could get up when I wanted to. Just wasn't happening. I tried. Much tired. <laughs> so we're back today. Um, <clears throat> working on this guy. We're going to be finishing up putting in the, the uh, medium green grass before we start adding our different colors on top of that section. <coughs> Excuse me. Because I'm opening up things that I'm like, oh, I forgot to... To do that, maybe... Maybe I should... Alright. So... Let's finish them up here. Alright, so for those that want to see the full, full tutorial of Season 3, Joy of Painting, Episode 6, which I should have tagged appropriately now since I fucked it up before and didn't even realize. Um, <laughs> the wrong episode number in there. Oops, doodles. Um, there's the link to that. And that'll be on the Bob Ross YouTube channel, which is where I'm pulling this from, because I have it muted and uh, we have it on pause a lot, so sometimes that can be hard to keep up with there. Uh oh, there we go. Got stuck in my clothespin. That's no good. That's no good at all. Alright. So right now we're working with Varsity Green from the Big Twist Value Joanne Fabrics House label. So I believe they refer to it as. And uh, we're going to pick up where we left off yesterday, which is getting a bit of this filled in here. So I hope everybody's weekend finished out pretty good. And I hope your Monday went well. I was looking up wooden trays on Amazon. I didn't like the prices on there. I mean, there was one set that wasn't bad because it was for several. But it was more than I wanted to pay, so I need to look at a couple different places. I got the speed felt done, you guys. Audio's laid in. I just have to finish... Um, putting in the description and stuff. I got it uploaded to YouTube. That'll go live tonight. Probably take me like 15, 20 minutes <clears throat> after dinner to uh, finish getting that sorted. Or maybe I'll do it while I'm eating. I don't know. We'll see. But that edit is finally done. I need to go through my portable hard drive and get rid of the uh, all the downloads because I don't need each live stream anymore on my person. That's just silly to hold on to it, taking up unnecessary space. some people will hold on to stuff for forever but I don't have the money to keep buying the storage to hold on to stuff for forever and eventually you're gonna hit the snag of oh this program won't open anymore as technology changes so I 
I don't really feel the need to keep them. Maybe that's just a me thing. Probably is. More than likely. Alright. Fill in this big spot up in here. Now I'm not going to worry a whole lot about trying to make this seem a little bit wild just yet because we're going to have those other colors laying back in over top of this. So don't really think that's going to be quite necessary. Just yet. We'll, we'll deal with that with the other colors. And now I just want to focus on getting our base and green in here. And doing what we can with that. Alright, so. Get those worked into here. This is all sorts of crooked. That's okay. It'll be okay. Sorry, I'm seeing other spots that didn't look like they were fully worked in there. That's a little big to let that go. Just a little. Let's hope everybody's Monday got off to a good start. Not sure how mine's doing yet. I haven't been awake that long. <laughs> I still need to do laundry. I just, it's gonna ha end up happening tomorrow. By the time I managed to drag my ass out of bed, I did not have time to get it started, so. Well, that's just gonna have to wait. And I mean, I could start it tonight after I get dinner in the oven. getting the sheets back on the bed and I don't know if that'll be done and dried enough before the husband goes to bed so might just be easier to wait till tomorrow I think I have another set of sheets, but I don't really like the pattern on it for reasons, so I really need to get another set. Especially now that the dogs aren't putting holes in it with their nails. I have one old sheet 
Crooked's just got so many holes from their nails because they like to dig. Or the one does. But he's kind of stopped doing that. And he's not in here that often anyway. He did come in and sleep with me for a little bit. This morning. When was that? 4.30? 5 a.m. he jumped in bed with me, something like that. Somewhere around in there. I was actually kind of surprised he didn't show up sooner. Thinking that uh, Russell was in here. Or at least looking for him. Come on, roll. There we go. Oh, this piece is just being stubborn, that's alright. That's okay, it'll still go down the same as the others. I was just hoping to make that a little bit thicker. have to put quite as many layers on there. Hey, Zorts. How goes it? Oh, no. No. What? He has a chest cold. Oh, you got it too? Russell has a head cold. In fact, we were beginning to wonder if, when I was quite so terribly sick with my allergies, that maybe it wasn't just allergies and that I gave him something. But I did start to feel better when we left the area, so we're not really sure. Oh lord. That's not good. It's not when you have to leave soon. I hope you're feeling better by the time you have to leave. That's going to be miserable. Start medicine up now. Get all the quills. The day and the night. I'll tell you, that day is really, really kind of a mindfuck because you see that it's orange in the bottle, right? And it's like, okay. And then you take it and then it tastes minty and I'm like, this is gross. Quills for days, yeah. All of it. The, the Vicks Vapo Rub and tissues and cough drops and everything. Tylenol, yeah, all of it, all of it. Oh my goodness. That's not good. I keep lining this up on the mat. I've got this mental block over the fact that I don't need to. And I'm like, oh, the match is a square. I felt this piece is a square. They're almost the same size. These should be lined up on top of each other. No. Brain, stop it. We don't have to do that. Oh boy, well I hope you're feeling better quickly definitely hope you're better before you have to go on your mission. That would be terrible. 
I think Russell's been sick with his head cold for like three weeks now. No, it hasn't been that long. It's only been about a week. No, because you didn't stream for two weeks because you felt like shit. Well, I think the first week was just me feeling like shit, on. It's not exactly uncommon. I still think it was like this is week three. He's finally starting to get better. So my mom's doctor's appointment is Wednesday. She's got another one next Wednesday. She'd been having trouble seeing and she thought she just needed new glasses again. She's already had cataract surgery years before and we weren't sure if that was going to have to be redone again. And then they're like, oh, we think you have glaucoma. And she's like, what? But they weren't sure how bad it was. So they're, they're making her come back again a month after her last one to see how far it's progressed before they figure out what they want to do with it. Which is another reason why I want to try to get her to Florida soon, but that probably won't happen until next year. So that she can see my brother while she can still see. You just want to go back to sleep with you at work tonight? Oh no. Dang it. Dang it, chest cold. Chest cold, we're evicting you right now. We don't have time for this. We don't have time for this, and we don't have time for you. Be gone. You had your fun. Now enough. You're being evicted from Zorx's place, so you can go quietly. be out by the end of the day or we'll bring in the big guns and do this the hard way the nice quiet in the night would be the preferable option somehow I don't think it's gonna listen three days off so hopefully you can kick it before you go back to work on Friday. Let's hope so. Let's hope so. People need to upload more music to the YouTube music library. <laughs> I'll find a few songs that kind of sound like they they would be like on an album together. They kind of jive together and then there's no more and I'm like but now it's gonna sound weird because of the amount of music I need for this one project because it's weird not having any music in there. And I need something, but it's like such a weird mashup of shit that I'm shoving in there. I try to get it to sound similar, or at least to have some kind of flow to it. And I tried to go with jazzy stuff, but the category on the YouTube library is, um, that's in the safe category where we won't get in trouble using it. Um, they're like two minute clips. Some are four, most are two ish, which is frustrating. And um, under jazz and blues, it suddenly turns to country. And I'm like, I think you're in the wrong category. 
because you sound a little more country than jazz and blues and that can be frustrating trying to dig through all that I've got a bunch of shit starred that I have saved, and then I've got a bunch of shit downloaded that I've actually used in all my portable hard drive. That was fun. I was making my music list last night. So I got that speed felt from the last project down to from 13 live streams. I think the longest live stream was almost four hours. They averaged between three to two, or two to three. Um, so 13 live streams, I got cut down to two hours and 14, 15 minutes, something like that. Then I had to scrounge around and find enough music to lay in over it. I think it was 46 tracks. I had to make a list so I could put it in the description. Um, I didn't put it in yet, so that's why I've... It's one of the things that's slowing that down from going live yet. I couldn't just put it live when it finished uploading. I still have things to do to it, and I didn't feel like waiting on it last night, because sometimes the HD version on the uploads takes forever. Or the processing, I should say. The actual upload to YouTube took about a half an hour. Not too bad. I was amazed. I had that that project clipped down to like 1600 and some odd clips. And it only took a half an hour to process. And I was like, wow, really? I was expecting you to take like two hours. Probably would have taken about two hours on the other PC. And it was done in a half an hour. I was sitting here playing a jigsaw puzzle um, on Steam. And <clears throat> next thing I noticed, I'm like, my computer kind of got quiet. What's going on? And I opened DaVinci and it was done. I was like, ooh. Okay then. Let's start you uploading after I watched... Um, a little bit of it, making sure that the audio processed without any problems. I was a little nervous I had really fucked up the editing in one spot because when I was trying to play it back a little bit when, where each track merged together, uh, it was stuttery and I'm like, uh oh. I was like, what did I do? So I had to like, um, I saved and then I uh, went back and started to replay it again and then it smoothed out. I was like, okay, maybe it's just because we hadn't saved in a while. Because when I was doing the cuts on it, it was auto-saving. So that when I hit saved, it acted like there was nothing to save. And I was like, okay, sure. So now I can probably get that gouache painting done. I won't be streaming the remainder of that because um, husband and friend are doing something tonight. Maybe. Maybe. Tyler's done his semester, and he's in the process of waiting for his work schedule to be readjusted, so he might have a little bit of extra time, so it depends on how the husband is feeling. Husband fucked up his toe. We were out walking. He slid in some mud that we didn't realize was there. I panicked because I thought he threw his back out. Turned out the one flip flop slid in the mud and the other foot caught the top of the 
sidewalk and scraped it all to hell. And yesterday we thought it was infected, or last night. So he had to go over to urgent care. They put one in our town now. And they were open. So it saved him from having to drive all the way to Fayetteville. And deal with their busy one. So I don't think the one here was all that busy. At that point on a Sunday afternoon. And they looked at it and they're like, hmm. Maybe a teeny tiny bit infected, but they weren't that concerned with it. They're like, wash it real good. Get some Neosporin on it. Did you put any fresh Neosporin on? Yeah. And um, they're like, we'll give you a prescription for antibiotics, but they weren't sure if he really needed it. Well, they just assumed I needed it. Oh, okay. I, they, they just did it because that's what you do. Well, yeah, I mean... I'm just having problems taking it. Yeah, new medicine. And it's not to the point where it definitely looks fucked up. I mean, it's a little iffy, but it might just be gruesome from where it is. Like, on the top. Like, the tip. Like, so, here's your toe. It's, like, on this part of the toe. The top. Not, not like, the top, but, like, the tip top. Maybe hop in the shower resorts with um, the Vicks or some Vicks or there. minty toothpaste or something in the bottom. That said, legit question because I don't know your employer. Uh, would it help if you called them and said, hey, I've got a chest cold and I'm off three days after this. Do you want me to not come in today? He kind of needs to go in because he's going to be out for a week soon. Oh, okay. Because I don't know, d depending on how reasonable your employer is, they might they might rather you didn't go in. But yeah. if that doesn't work for you, then that doesn't work for you. No, I think he needs the money. And I don't think he has the, the time. Reasonable, yeah. No. Noted. I just had to ask. No, it, who the hell are you working for now? Yeah, I forgot. Nestle? Or no, you... Was it Nestle? It was somebody. Something, some kind of food warehouse, because you had a hairnet on in that photo. Oh, plastics company. Oh, plastics company. Okay. Well, well, that's just track. worse. It's not like it's gonna go bad in a day, but all right. Fuckers. Oh shit. No, Nestle was the other people. That's right. Let's find our employers reasonable. They want you there. No matter the circumstances. And if you drop dead while you're there, then they kick you and be like, get back to work. I'm docking you every minute that you're laying there on the floor and then they'll write you up for being a tripping hazard food grade plastics, okay still have glitter in my felting pad. It will probably forever be there. And I'm not even sure what I did to get the glitter on there. I think it just simply existed on my desk. I mean, I know we did a little bit of glitterifying Christmas ornaments, but I didn't even do that in here. 
I did it in the other room. Although, you know what? No, they were in here briefly. Excuse me, in their tray. It says that if you're not feeling well, stay home. Versus, oh my god, you called out yesterday. Death is an unex is an unacceptable reason, but first your family has to drag your corpse in here. Is an acceptable reason. Yeah, you know. So they, they tell they tell you you they want to be safe and smart about how they treat their business, and then you call and the managers refute that unarguably. Oh yeah. Come on. It's standard practice. We say one thing to make us look good, but you know, when it actually comes down to it. I remember working for AC Moore had blinding migraines and had to be up front running customer service. Was so sick I could barely talk one time. Went to call out and they're screaming at me on the phone. And I'm like, I'm ill. Like, legitimately ill. And you want me to be in customers' faces, handling money, giving them change back, touching paperwork, touching so much stuff that almost everybody in that building would then be ill after cross-touching what I'm touching. But you're going to scream at me for not coming in. Okay. So then my mom would fight with me when I would go in. She's like, you're sick, you can't go in. I was like, yeah, tell that to my boss. It's like, I'd almost rather just go in and make them all sick for making me come in sick than have to deal with their bullshit on the phone. Like, that was a huge source of anxiety. You're already not feeling well. And then you have to gauge on a zero of one to, I'm about to die, to, um, to whether or not you want to deal with it on the phone. It was never a, okay, we'll see you tomorrow, hope you're feeling better. No, it was always the, the guilt trippy side. It was always the, fine, but you better be here tomorrow. Are you sure you can't come in today? This puts us in such a position. We are so shorthanded as it is. I'm like, that's not my problem. Call people. Maybe if you had enough staff. If your staffing arrangement did not plan for people getting ill, that's kind of a you problem and not a me problem. Like, I really need the added stress of this when I'm already stressed that I'm not well. But sure, I'll come in. I have a 102 degree fever, but totally, I'll be there in an hour. You bet. You want me to handle money like this? Okay. I can't guarantee my drawer's gonna be correct at the end of the night, but alright. not asking for cuddles and and well wishes but don't fucking ring me out when I call to say hey I'm I'm fucked up I can't come in especially when I'm not one of those people that just calls out on a whim too that's what like would really piss me off
I did not call out that often. surprised that uh, I didn't get in more trouble when I left like an hour or two into my shift the one day when uh, I got a call that my brother had died but I think the manager that was on that day knew there'd be hell to pay if he uh, flipped it out on me for that I had warned him when I walked in I'm like hey um, I've got a bit of a family situation going on today. So, uh, I might need to leave suddenly. But I came in because we weren't sure. almost better if you go in and then leave. I think because then they can actually see how fucking sick you are. <laughs> but they don't seem to understand. If they just weren't jackasses on the phone. Although just about every workplace is like that. Like we had to call out to a manager at Walmart. Some more of our green floof. Our green floofy stoof. Alright. So I think we've got like three, well, maybe four more spots over here that I want to get covered up here. Before we move on to another color. figure out what colors we're using to highlight our pathway here. Yeah, I think the next Twitch payment I've definitely got to replace this and that. The dome that is forming on this thing is starting to aggravate me. I feel bad because part of me is like, but it's still usable. Another part of me is like, yeah, maybe, but. Although this did hold up pretty well. Because if I had been using a foam mat, I probably would have had to replace it like four times already. Especially with the amount of uh, abuse that we put it through here. More than likely.
so this this is a little bit big this is big and then that one's a little much so yeah the more floofy stuff it's a little thin there but we've got that other color or colors coming back in here shortly what did I say we were at we're at 18 minutes of a 26 minute tutorial so we're getting there we're just taking our time on this guy and I should probably show finishing the piece so that'll probably add another another day to it another session or I could just record that part but I don't know if we use hot glue we can speed it up a little bit I think I still have hot glue sticks I might have to get some more hot glue sticks though I went through a lot on the um, on that Easter arrangement that I had to make for my dad's grave to make sure everything was not going to shift around and stay put I was just squeezing the glue in there I was like because I had to glue rocks and stuff to the inside of it to lay it down because it's kind of windy and not really sheltered out there my mom was in Walmart with us she goes oh look at that basket that would be nice and I'm like yeah but look at the size of it that's going to be expensive to put an arrangement in. I mean, if you're going to pay for that many flowers, that's fine, but we lucked out for Easter because they were having a 50% off sale on their flowers. I don't know if... Oh. It's a good thing we don't have to actually talk to a live person. We just leave a message to the sick line. See, that's good. That's helpful. And you can just call the thingy and then fall back over and pass the puck back out. I'll tell you, I was worried we weren't gonna do a live stream today because I started getting a migraine when I went to bed last night. I was like, where's this coming from? Why? I was about two thirds of the way done adding the audio. I think it was from the way I was sitting. And I was like, oh no. I just start to feel it creeping in. I was like, no, no, no. We're not doing this. I'm not in the mood to deal with this. There was a fuzz that didn't look like it was attached. It might have been a cat hair. We've come to the conclusion that Little Bits is the least cat-like of all of the cats. She's not a very climby cat. Which is kind of surprising to us all the other guys are constantly climbing and getting up on shit they shouldn't be on. She's a lot more comfortable on the ground. I think the highest thing I've seen her jump on was our like waist high freezer. That's next to the one window so she can sit on it and look out at the birds. I think that's the highest thing I've seen her get on. 
Okay, so. That guy there. Alright. Now, did he already? Did he already? Okay, he started to. Alright, so. It doesn't have as much of the green tone as it did in the back. So, I think we'll do this shade. I mean, even this is a little bright, but it's probably about as good as that's going to get. She doesn't like to be held. She doesn't like to be up high. She's a very strange cat. She's a good hunter, though. That's for certain. Need to look at my art supply websites. See if anybody's having a sale. And we still have some time. Having it for Memorial Day, like, actually, we might not be able to do that. It kind of depends on what happens with some other things going on in the world, because uh, things and stuff as to when we can actually make this thing. I really should see if I could get that bottle of glue to cooperate so we can finish one of those cars. Did you fix the doorknob? No. The mother-in-law's bedroom door that we have to keep shut to keep the cat separated sticks and is really hard to pull closed and um, the doorknob on there whenever we do pull it closed eventually one of the screws is starting to pop out of the attachment to hold it on to the door. Eventually, I think we're going to end up stripping that screw. But uh, in the meantime, we can't really be without a, uh, a doorknob on there. It'll be quite the cat fight. Wait, the uh, cat fight indeed. And I had noticed the other day when I had gone to open the door or shut the door or something that the screw was kind of popping out. I was like, oh no. <laughs> That's not good. 
But that's something that definitely requires attention. Sooner than later. Alright. What time is it? Ow! <laughs> I hate this chair so much. Um, I mean, I, it's better than my previous chair, right? But I wish they would make more, like, fabric chairs than uh, this weird plethora. Not plethora. No, that's not the... The fake leather. What the fuck is it called? It's not plethora. That's not the word I want. Pleather? Maybe pleather is the word I want. Um, I keep putting that fake leather on stuff and it's like... It's like when you're trying to peel yourself off of a hot car seat. Sometimes... I just tried to shift my leg and it stuck to the chair and I was like, oh god. Why? The AC's on, it's not that hot in here. Which is why I hate wearing shorts in these, in uh, this chair, but... A little too warm to have pants on. In case I have to run outside. straight here. Stupid as it is, I'm kind of proud of that little bridge thing. Came out pretty decent, all things considered. It was off to a rough start, but we've, we've turned it around. Alright, starting to look like something here. I want this to be real thick since we're just kind of doing some highlighty guys on here. Whoa, careful. I'll tell you, there's so many times I was editing the other video where I got this thing close to my finger and it looked like I was about to stab my finger. I'm like, oh god. Just from the way the camera angle was. to grill for Memorial Day, but they're right now they're saying there's an isolated thunderstorm chance. Which means we might not get anything, but at the same time. I also kind of don't want us to be in the middle of making food and have it start to lightning. Rain is fine. We can deal with the rain. Because we've taken to putting the grill in the carport. So, I mean, we've got a roof over us. So that's, that's not a big deal. And the carport roof is high enough where, you know, there's no... No issues there, but... Um, it's the lightning I'm more concerned about than the rain.
Alright, so we got this guy tapped into here. We're getting him tapped in. So we might end up grilling on Sunday instead. The weather is supposed to be a little bit better. I'll be streaming either way. We're not taking this weekend off. Unless I'm ill. Again, this is stuff that you all don't necessarily have to do. It's just something that I do just to make sure we're, we're looking okay. Alright, that's probably enough of that. Don't want to overdo. Alright, where did you come from, my friend? There's your clothespin. Okay, so. Next up, Bob. Ooh, excuse me. Where are we at, Bob? Alright, so we finished putting that in. I was gonna put those cat taily thingies. We already did that. Or sticks or whatever the hell they are. It's only got them in the one spot, which I find strange, but whatever. That's fine, I guess. So, got a few of those over there. Okay, so now he's gonna get into some tad yellow. So his same kind of colors in here, but a little more green. Or maybe a little more yellow yellow. So we definitely seem to be fuzzy. Oh, how am I gonna do this? Um, yeah, let's wait for him to put in both in. Wait, no no cover for it. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Go in these big ash trees. Alright. Um Okay. So we're down to putting in our grassy doodles in here. Got my book. Her turtle. You go hang out up there for a minute. Ooh, look. <laughs> Let's just spill everything. Good job. Good job. Okay. Let's see here. Where would he be? There he'd be. Alright. So. Varsity green. So I did light green. Mustard and buttercup. Okay. Okay. So. Okay. We'll probably mix those two. Why is every. Why are you even over here? Oh, hi, little. Little's on the bed. Probably because Ed isn't. I didn't know she got up there. Alright, so. Buttercup. 
stuff go to bend down to pick it up and I can feel my entire spine shift and crunch at the same time that's that's great um all right so all right you go up there because I'm tired of you falling over okay so we got some options here what's the other color mustard um the mustard or we want gold I think we'll go with actual mustard okay Although I don't know if we're really gonna need the mustard. So, do we want mine? Maybe we'll do a combination of. Who are you? You're light green. So, we'll get a bit of that. Or light green. I'm just like a bull in a china shop in here today. A little bit of the lime green. Mix those guys together. Try to. And then how about we grab a little bit of our mustard color so we'll probably have to like try to do this in rows kind of where it's like okay this row had the mustard mixed into it next row we'll do a little bit of the okra or like stagger it like okay or or not okra um buttercup so we'll do okay okra maybe a little bit of the buttercup and Maybe do it something like that. I don't know how well this is going to work. This is just an idea. We will see. Okay, where's my doodle? Alright. Yeah. Let, let go, please. Thank you. You're not needed yet. Okay, so let's just see how we can get this worked into here. What we can make happen. No promises that this is gonna look alright. But maybe we can get something to come out of this monstrosity. I mean, it's definitely got some different colors going on in here. This is where we start fussing again a little bit. Kind of that. Put 
happens there. And we'll see, I might hate this. But it's a little late now. If I do. So I want to make sure I'm not cutting our project. I want to make sure I'm cutting the loose stuff off. So you might want to give yourself just a little bit. Not much. Doesn't need to be extra long, but just a little bit so you don't accidentally clip what you've already got going on there. Trying not to make this all one length. We can have a little bit of overgrowth in here. Again, my finger's just kind of resting on this so it doesn't get all over the place. trying to smoosh it down or anything. Well, that, that line is very bright in there though, isn't it? Move that way. kind of see stuff starting to happen and take shape in here. Might be able to get maybe one more out of this set. Perhaps. Let's see. Because, like, the next row, I'm going to get some of our buttercup mixed in. Probably leave the same two greens in there, maybe. Or maybe we could change it up and do the mustard and the buttercup and only one of the greens. Also a possibility. I mean, his is very yellowy green. <clears throat> I think he'd only really put the ochre in there to, uh, I keep calling it okra. Ochre in there. Just to kind of make it not quite so screaming yellow. That's what it kind of felt like. I'll have to get the finished photo of that other one posted. I still have to take it actually. I need to dig the good camera out of wherever it ended up at. Because I'm not sure. Where it ended up. I think the husband was the last one to have it. Up. 
Finally finished going through all my music, so that was good. Got rid of the stuff I didn't want. Oh, any more? Noticed I had a bunch of duplicate stuff in my playlist that got trans- well, not my playlist, but the actual files. I was like, why is there so many duplicates? This is strange. Okay. So I think we'll keep going with this color combo here at the moment, so we'll get a little bit of our lime. little bit of our light green just kind of motion these guys together oh. did OBS get funny what was that uh -huh. are we out of school for the summer how did you not know Like, the school bus doesn't drop off next door for another half hour. Well, there were kids across the street at the basketball hoop, so... Well, seniors, I think, are out. Uh, they look younger than that. Huh. Maybe everybody's out now. Hmm. You can tell we don't have kids, because we don't know. <laughs> I'm, like, hearing yelling, and I don't know why. Not constant yelling, just like loud voice every so often. Out of place, but not necessarily too terribly concerning. I mean, our neighbors have their grandkids living there. But... I don't think it's them necessarily. I hardly ever hear them next door. Once in a while. I hardly ever see them outside. see them outside every so often. But they're not constantly out there. So it's just kind of like, why am I hearing outside voices? It's not much of a rarity and our other neighbor doesn't have kids. Well no, she has kids but they're adults. But they are not there. It's usually just her. Alrighty. I mean, we've got a little something going on here. Doesn't have to be perfectly straight. Just trying to get our little overgrown stuff happening here. I don't want it to come down too far either. I mean, it can come down far. A little far. Like, I don't want it halfway down the 
thing though. I also don't want this to be too stripey either, so that's that is a concern. We might have to vary things up a little bit. I was worried if we just kept going with the same colors, but they just start to like bleed into each other. But maybe not. Well, maybe we keep these colors, right? And we just add in a tiny touch of the buttercup. For the section that's a little bit further away. Oh boy, this is going to turn into like the trees on the last one. Or it's going to take forever to get through these. I'm going as fast as I can, you guys. I know this isn't the most exciting part. But, you know, we don't want to go too fast, though. I'm going to actually stop and kind of think about what I'm doing. I kind of variegated this a little bit by smooshing all the fibers together. And where they, lend, where they lie, they lie, they end up, they end up. So at least hopefully that way we don't get too much striping and stuff happening. Kind of situation. Hi Momo. What's up my dude? I don't have any food, I promise. I can't tell if you're coming over to look for goodies. <coughs> No, he is. Or if you're coming to look for potty. Hi. I mean, I'm glad you're visiting me now. I'm just surprised at the sudden... Do you have to pee pee? Hi. Yeah. Poor old Momo. We would take him to the park more and stuff, but he makes me so nervous. Because you can tell something's not quite right. Still, even though he's being a little more... Um, lively and mobile. Like the way his back legs walk, he kind of like has them, they kind of look like a wishbone when he's walking sometimes. So I don't want to disregard that he fucked up something at some point. And we do take them every so often. When we go to the park, he's usually just there smelling all of the things and peeing on all of the things. And maybe we'll do that on. Maybe we'll do that tomorrow. Kind of depends on how the husband's foot's doing.
take my mom over. My mom can't smoke there though, because it's a state park. We would take her to the other park, but uh, there's that, one, that park's boring. It's more of just baseball fields and the pool and uh, I think one small little thing of playground equipment. There had been a volleyball court there, like a sand volleyball court. I don't know if it's still there or not. They might have taken it out. They had the teeniest, tiniest skate park ever. But it kept getting vandalized with spray paint. And the city was getting mad about it. So I don't know if the skate park is still there. I'm like, mm, you understand that a lot of skaters are gonna do that, right? It makes them feel more at home, I guess. Like, if it's just in the skate park and it's not anything offensive or gang-related, maybe just leave it. Maybe invite some people to come and do some spray paint art. That's, you know, within reason. I don't know. I'm actually surprised there's a skate park there at all, to be perfectly honest, considering the area. Wait, is that the green? No. Making sure we weren't double dipping on green here. <sighs> this is a different shade of green. And lens wipes for my glasses. Ah! Look, yellow. Back in there. Did not need this much of you. Ow. Alright, so let's see about getting all of this kind of mixed and mushed. In here together. Did he pee at least? Yeah. He was initially distracted by the grass, but he did go before he, before he uh, came. Yeah, sometimes he'll start to focus on the grass, and I'm like, hey, and I'm tapping him his tail. I'm like, we're here to potty. We've been trying not to stray too far from the house after the mountain lion sightings, especially at night. With tiny dogs. So they've been a little mad that we haven't been taking them across the street to pee on the tree over there. Okay, so now let's see if we can get this work done. I know a lot of people can be like, well, what the hell was the point of putting in that base screen? If you're just going to come back in and do this over top of it, well, I mean, you can still see it poking through, which was entirely the point. So that way this top section didn't have to be quite so obnoxiously thick. So we've added a little bit of the buttercup into the mix now. To uh, hopefully 
mix that up just a little bit. Can't see that much of it just yet. So does Zuzu just come for the goodie? Uh -huh. Such a brat. I don't know why he suddenly started being weird about going outside. I can see a little bit of our Buttercup starting to phase in now. Man, that dump truck's struggling. That was Struggle Bus City. gonna re-flatten this section here. Oh, I can see a bit more of our yellow starting to creep in here. And that's okay. It's actually good. So hopefully, hopefully doing it this way, it'll be more of a mashup and less likely to look stripey. super zoomed in because I hate fussing with the camera angle constantly but then when I think I need to zoom in and I go and do so and then I'm looking at the playback <coughs> of the VOD and stuff on a larger screen I'm like I didn't really need to zoom in like it actually looked okay trying to get this unruly mess into something a little more usable here. Like, I don't want it too neat, but we need it a little bit. We need a little bit of disorganized organization. If that makes sense. I know it makes sense to some people. Controlled chaos. Kind of situation here. It looks like I'll have at least a week or two where I don't have to edit a massive speed paint, although I could start in this one. But I want to take the chance to get that gouache painting done. I'm going to have to look at those gouache paints tonight because I think I have to re-wet them and get them ready. 
I really need to get back into Minecraft and get an, one more session recorded and mush that recording all together. See, I don't know if it's showing up on the camera, but you can see a little bit of our under green, which is what I was going for. Kind of blending in with our other shades here, so that's that's good. That's working out just fine. This is probably gonna be our most tedious part on this one. So far, I mean, doing the large chunks of color is really not that tedious, it's just time consuming. This is where we kind of want to actually look at what we're doing, think about what we're doing. Start to get stuff laid in here. Now I could just like lay it out long ways and do it that way, but then I'm not gonna get like the wild spiky height variations and stuff. So I mean if that's if you'd rather do it laid out in like logs, I guess for a better lack of a better terminology that are visual, instead of like up and down stickies, then, you know, you do it that way. Like Bob always tells us, it's our world. And, uh, you know, have at it. doing too bad. I'm trying to overlap them a little bit. Not terribly so. But just so we don't see, you know, each time we picked it up where it's not quite so obvious. And slid on over. on that section, so I'm just going to kind of flip that guy up. And get him worked in that way. Alright. It's time to re-comb down our fluff on the back. Looking pretty good here. All right, not too bad. Okay, so let's get some more of our line. Just gotta kind of mush up our fibery bits so they're not all entangled with each other. We'll grab some of our mustard color. And you can see a little bit of the mustard in that row. There wasn't much buttercup shining through. It's in a couple spots. So maybe we'll 
go ahead and add a little bit more of that into here. So that's our light green. Eh, you know what? We don't have that much of the light green left pulled out. Just kind of go ahead and stick all that in there. So I'm just going to kind of mix all these guys together here, try to, see what kind of color combinations we manage to get here. Hopefully something that's not quite the same as we have down. All right. Just going to sneak this ever so gently. Try to. I don't want this to be tight. Right, let's see here. We can pull off. section in there that suddenly kind of wasn't sure if that was cat hair or fluff. It's probably fluff. After I moved it, it kind of looked like it was attached to everything else. It's that first one. A little bit doughy, but that's okay. If I was really worried about it, I could have trimmed that edge right when we got started. So it didn't quite do that, but it's going to be more of a personal preference thing, I think. Not quite sure why it disconnected me and then reconnected me to the chat room. OBS doesn't look like it was having struggle bus issues. Sorry, that piece of fuzz looked odd. of a divot, not a divot, um, some dark green showing through there. I don't really know what to call it, a gap? A section where I didn't overlap the bottom? I'll have to make sure I overlap right here. Just so it doesn't start to get a little too weird. So right now it's okay, right? Like that's all right. I'm just trying to stretch that out just a little bit. into some kind of usable shape here. As best as we can. I 
Alright, so let's scrape that up just a little bit because I was like, oh, we're on the edge of the pathway here. So we should probably. Well, that sounded like the school bus. Hmm, maybe the younger kids got out sooner? So I think they had graduation. Unless I'm mistaken. Although the seniors would usually get out a little bit before everybody else. I'm just refilling that in just a little bit because we could really see that seam trying to be a problem. So try to angle that a little bit. I can feel like it's growing up over the edge of our pathway here. in there. Okay, that's not bad. Alright, end of the row. Even the back side of this doesn't look half bad. Honestly. roll this just a little. I don't want it tight at all. I just kind of want it a little more under control here. Okay. So like I said, this is going to be a little tedious to watch probably, but it doesn't keep it from needing to be done. I want to cover up the bottom row just a little bit. I mean, it doesn't have to be covered constantly because, like, we've got this little gap here, and that's fine. That looks okay. But I also want to start to figure out where I want to cut off this row, like, how long I want it to be. They all don't have to be the same length. Keeping track of cats. I heard somebody walking behind me. And the one's not been fan of everybody else lately. She can defend herself, though. The other one we have to keep separated because she won't defend herself. She just kind of sits there, growls, and then, like, pees everywhere because she's scared. So it's like, um, yeah. The other one comes out swinging, though. Like, I told you to back the fuck off, motherfucker. So we're not quite as worried about her. Barbecue chicken drumsticks tonight. 
in the oven. Don't know what we're having with it. Probably rice, because I think we might be out of mashed potatoes. I mean, probably could make some mashed potatoes, but like from scratch, because I think we still have some, but I just don't really wanna <laughs> it's a whole huge mess and there's more for me to clean up after dinner See, right in there I got a little thin trying to cover up the bottom of that previous row. And that's okay. That might actually work out in the end. Have a little bit of height variation in here. So if you're gonna snip, right? You're gonna snip the excess off the bottom. Make sure that you're coming in and you are anchoring those little guys down. And that you're fully attached in here. And you don't want them coming off, that would be terrible. not be helpful at all. So I wasn't sure if we were actually in camera. I should see if the place that we ordered the dowels from has those unfinished wooden trays. I don't think they do. Like I don't necessarily even need like the handles and the edges. I just need a frame to set this in. So we're not sliding all over the place. I mean, honestly, I could probably get stretcher bars. and make something. Just to keep us from sliding. What is this, our third row? Alright, so that'll give us a chance to reevaluate how we're looking here. It's a chance to pull our head out of the sand. Alright, that's not, not bad, not bad. We are starting to get a little bit of striping, rowing happening, so um, don't want to get 
two in the sticks with that. Yeah, I picked up some desk dust bunnies in my uh, fluff here. That's where I kind of tossed that. So we've got lime and light green coming in. A little bit of our buttercup. And a little bit of our Little bit of our mustard. Okay. Just gonna kinda smoosh all these guys together. Mixed in. Alright, let's see what we can make happen here. Roll these guys. Doesn't need to be too tight. Don't really want it to be too tight. On this section, right? How about just give that the tiniest little haircut? I need to replace my trash bag over here. And we'll start to get this guy. in here. Again, I was just scraping there. I wasn't actually stabbing. You don't want to go in and then pull. You will immediately stab your needle. That's not really going to do you any favors. At all. I think we're doing pretty good here. overlapping a little bit. Doesn't have to be by a huge amount. But you want to overlap on the sides and on the bottom a little bit of the row above. If possible. I know he did his a little bit differently. But this is just how I'm feeling like approaching this. So if you want to approach it a little bit differently, by all means, go ahead. I'm 
not going to worry if we get a little cricket on the bottoms here. It's fine. <coughs> In fact, it probably should be a little crooked. So I'm just kind of trying to make a little bit of... Not really a meadow, but... Definitely overgrown in here and not really maintained. Oh, I found a cool critter cam. Um, not sponsored in any way, shape, or form. But it's pretty cool. Let me grab it. I'm not going to show it to you, but I'll tell you the name because I don't want to get in trouble. Um, it's called Woodlands Critter Quest. Let me copy the link here. What's this about now? Here's the link. There might not be much going on at the moment due to time of day, but um, it's on YouTube. It's a wildlife camera from somewhere in North Carolina. And oh my goodness, the critters that they have stop by to chow down on this camera are amazing. There's a whole bunch of deer sometimes. Um, in the past like two days we've seen a shit ton of deer. We've seen a bunch of raccoons. There's been a, at least a pair of possums a couple different times I've checked in. I've seen a skunk di two different times. They've got flying squirrels that come out when it gets dark out. Last night there was a cat trying to attack the flying squirrels on the camera. I was like, oh shit. He got one of them, but they got away. I was kind of surprised the skunk didn't spray him because he startled him. And every, like the, I think one of the raccoons came back or maybe it was the possum that was giving him dirty looks like, what the fuck's your problem, yo? <laughs> We're just having dinner. The camera is pretty good quality camera. I'm not sure if they've got it set up to um, to automatically zoom in on stuff. It kind of looks like a PTZ camera. For the quality of the picture on it. Because I know on some of the railroad cams that I kind of hang out in late at night. There's usually always people in those chat rooms. I don't really talk to anybody, but, you know, when you're the only one up and there's at least other people hanging about somewhere commenting on stuff, it's not quite as lonely. And, um, and you know, watch the trains come through. Sometimes you see some interesting freight trains. Um, they've allowed the moderators in some of their members, specific members, the capability to log into the camera and zoom it in and stuff and control it. So I'm wondering if it's one of the mods that's zooming it in or if it's zooming it in automatically. But it seems a little deliberate and focused completely on the animal for it to be an automated thing unless it's really that good of a camera that's programmed to look for movement and zoom in on it. I don't know. We kind of look for wildlife cameras, bird feeder cameras every so often. We'll put them on for the cats. If they're being a little extra bored. Because we moved the bird feeders so that my mom could actually see the birds. So now the cats really don't get the chance to see them that much. 
that and if the window was open I am fairly certain that Little would have gone through the window by now to try to get them. Cause that's how she rolls. Some different color variants happening in there. Not looking too shabby. I like that we've got some of our dark green mingling in. Not our dark dark green, but I guess our varsity green here. I'm gonna have to come back in over this section. Because I know that's not going to be enough to fill that in to my satisfaction. Nope, not at all. Okay. That's alright. Okay. I'm going to pull this up. Re smooth this down in here. You okay? Mm -hmm. Just stretch your back. Alright. It's kind of turning into like one solid color mass, but that's okay. What does that mean? That's an interesting headline. 60,000 pounds of an explosive chemical lost during rail shipment. Ooh. Um, what exactly do they mean by lost? Do they mean somebody did a paperwork error? Um, or did it's kind of hard to steal that. It disappeared last month. We're just now finding out about it. Great. Um... Huh. Huh. Interesting. Apparently the chemical was released due to an unknown cause <clears throat> and that it was discovered missing after the rail car arrived in California from Wyoming. Sounds like someone is entering their James Bond villain phase. I, it, it was apparently, um, oh, what the hell did they call it? Hold on. Um, 60,000 pounds of a chemical used as both fertilizer and an explosive. Oh, info, okay. Ammonium nitrate. Yeah. Uh, not necessarily a big deal. You kind of have to work at it to use it here. 
And it's still interesting that oh, yeah, interesting. they didn't but realize it was same, missing it's till not the same as, you know, a bunch of pounds of C four or something or dynamite. Yeah. So. But still. It's like, um Though there's been a lot of rail car um burglaries lately. Um lots of uh cargo containers going by the the rail cams where the cargo containers are wide open, the doors are just banging around, and there's shit missing. Um, they caught on camera somebody standing on a moving train going past one of the rail cameras with their back to the camera so they couldn't see their face, with bolt cutters cutting the bolts on one of the, the, the dead bolts, I guess, on one of these shipping containers, trying to... Um, I guess see what was inside. I'm like, dude, you're on a moving train. Where the fuck are you gonna throw that shit? Is somebody waiting at an upcoming stop or something? I mean... Because they have to do crew changes at specific... Like, I don't know if it's at specific times, but they do it at certain places. And they have to stop the train when they do the crew changes. Maybe these people have watched patterns and... Or they've got radios saying okay we stopped here or they're just out in the desert throwing it out and they're gonna come back later on with pickup trucks and pick it up who the fuck knows there was a whole bunch of people on the one rail camera that they actually caught like the one the one train cam was like they, they do a grab bag of like notable engines and shit that people find fascinating going by and uh, they actually zoomed in on these people and like, yeah, if you know anything about this, contact the police in this, in this uh, state. I was like, oh damn. <laughs> like y'all aren't so smart with the amount of people that like I didn't know that rail fanning was such a big thing. Like there's people that make a day of it. They go to like certain um, areas where there's busy. Uh, busy sections of track and stuff and they'll just sit there and they'll record the trains and things and I'm like wow I didn't know this was a thing I'm like they know the type of engine by the sound of the horn and stuff and I'm like wow <laughs> okay <laughs> they are definitely trained enthusiasts They have like rail fan days at certain places where this one camera channel has multiple cameras set up and they all gather in front of the camera and they're like flashing signs and things. I'm like, oh, okay. I'm like, wow, I didn't know this was a thing. Apparently it is. Right, I'm going to give this guy just a little bit of a, excuse me, a little bit of a haircut so he's not quite so round at the top. I was like, wow. Could you imagine being the conductor or one of the conductors that was on that train trip and you get to where you're going and you find out that some of your shipment is missing? Are you held responsible for that? Like, is, is your ass in trouble? Or is it just like, man, I'm up at the front of the train, I'm driving the damn thing, I kept it from derailing, what the fuck more do you want from me? Like, I don't know. I mean, I guess they'd be in trouble if it was found out that they were involved in it, but... Stop sticking to everything today. Thank you. Imagine that would be a little bit difficult to prove. Watch it end up being like that there was a leak on that car. On one of the valves or something. Although they said it was released to an, to an unknown reason, so maybe they already checked the valves. The 
things that Windows 11 decides that I need to know is breaking news right now. Like, okay, Windows 11. Sure. Another row done. Let's see here. How long do we want this row to be? Or how tall? It actually looks a little better when it's shorter, but... probably make something work with that. So we're going to need at least two, well, at least one more row, if not two, on this side. Okay, we're going to have a couple more sessions on this guy if I end up um, doing the the finished. All right, dude, you have a good night. Hope you feel better. Don't huff too much Vix in the car on break. <laughs> you kidding? I would walk in there just reeking of it in a huge ass cloud. I'd be like, hey, what's up? Stand there, cough out along, be like. How is everybody today? <laughs> Alright, so we'll probably get this piece in here. Hey, could you go turn the oven on for me? Four twenty. It's not for the reasons you all are thinking. Get your minds out of there. Um, our one parchment paper, for some reason, is only safe up to temperature four twenty. The one brand. The other brand says four twenty five. I don't understand it. I don't know why. But I really don't want the parchment paper to catch on fire in the oven. That would be awful. So we're gonna do what it says. Although I think I have used it at 425, but it's either a typo on the box or it really is 420. But, uh, you know, we'll see how that goes. Alright, so get this guy get it put into here. That bottom overlapped a bit. As we go here, all 
Alright, I am liking our color variating as we go. Variegating, variating, variety. I mean, some spots will be a little bit heavier or thicker on one color, but as we're going, you know, it's not doing too bad. Oh, can you ask her what she wants with her chicken? I didn't realize she was up. Sweetie, mm -hmm. can you ask her what she wants with her chicken? I didn't realize she was up yet. I don't know what we're supposed to be having with the chicken. She says, I don't know, what is there? <laughs> there's rice, there's one ear of corn left, there's broccoli. I don't know if there's mashed potatoes in there or not. Um, don't see any. I mean, we could maybe do a baked potato. But I would have liked to have put that in at three. She said so she'll split the corn with you and rice. Okay. Alright, so yeah, I mean, we've got a little bit of our dark, or our, our under green, I should keep saying, because this is the dark green, um, melting on through, and that's perfect. Okay. So I still have to do my color swatches and see what's gonna make this pop a bit. I think dark brown's gonna be maybe too much. I have a dark tree here. Um, I mean we could go with like this medium brown. It's a possibility. I like kind of want to go purple. But maybe that's too much. This is going to be right up on the edge of the purple sky. Maybe we'll find like a nice medium light brown like a coffee. I have one that's called Cafe Ole, I think. That might work in there. Alright, so I think that's going to do it for today. I know we didn't get that far today. But, um, we, well, no, actually, we didn't do half bad today, because I forgot. We filled this in, right? And then we shaded our pathway. That's still being a little bit unruly here. See, these little flyaway guys are almost harder to make sure that everybody's where they need to be. Then you know the thicker sections. All right, and then we started putting in our colored grass, which is looking pretty good. I mean, it's definitely pushed this back. It's doing its job, and we're not too rounded here. A little bit, but not as bad as some of them have been. So that's pretty good there. So yeah, I think we'll we'll give it a pause there. Ooh, my fingers are swollen. Let's like dig it in. All right. So I don't think anybody is um, just the one person. All right. So we'll just call it there today. Um, so thank you guys for hanging out with me and pop it in and see in the progress. Um, that speed felt will get posted later this evening in a couple of hours. Or maybe I'll work on it while dinner's cooking. I could do that too. So in a little bit, so keep an eye on the YouTube channel. So go subscribe over there if you haven't yet. And um, we'll get that posted of the last project. And uh, I'm not planning on doing another stream until Thursday, but you never know. We might pop back in on Wednesday and do a surprise stream. Very possible. But we'll see. We'll see. So, 
until next time, you guys have a good week. And I'll see you on Wednesday. I mean Thursday, excuse me. <laughs>